It is reading time, and I will reveal our new book in just a minute. It's hiding behind my papers here. But first, I want to show you what you can do with a flashlight at home. If you are able to write your words down and maybe put them on a little sticky notes or little scrap pieces of paper, and what you can do is you can put them around and your mom and dad can ask you the word or an older brother or sister and you can take your flashlight and you can shine it on the word and when you shine it on the word you can say the letters in the word g-u-e-s-s -S, guess s-u-r-e sure maybe they'll say find the word better and you'd look and you'd shine it on there, B-E-T-T-E-R, better. Find the word learn. Did you learn that word this week? L-E-A-R-N, learn. Find the word right. Does that mean you're, th does this right mean you're gonna write something down? This right means you're correct or if you put your right hand over your heart, R-I-G-H-T, right. And the last word, find the word began. There it is, B-E-G-A-N, began. Good job, first grade. It just makes it fun. Give it a try. All right, before we have the big reveal, let's see if you remember all of these, do you remember? I see O-R and O-R and O-R-E and O-A-R. They all say the same sound. Do you remember what it is? They all say OR. You guessed it. So let's look at our OR words. The O-R OR words under K OR in corn. Ready? Thorn, form, fork, for, born. Good job. O-R-E says or, like in apple, k, or, apple core. Ready? Soar, score, store, chore, core. And the last one. O-A-R says or like a checkered board, roar, hoard, board, soar, and or. Good job. All right. Are you guys ready to see our book for today? Now the book today is a picture book. And another thing I want to tell you about this book Is it is one of my favorite books. Big Sarah's Little Boots. I love this story. This story is about a little girl and you can see she loves to splash in puddles with her yellow boots. She loves her yellow boots. But guess what? Sarah's getting bigger and her boots are getting a little too small for her feet. How do you think she's going to feel about that? So we're going to read to find out what Sarah does. The author of this book is Paulette Borges and the illustrator is Brenda Clark. So read along with me in Big Sarah's Little Boots. The genre of this story is a realistic fiction story. That means that the author has made this story up, but it is something that could really happen in real life. This could really happen. Oops. Big Sarah's Little Boots. If I can open up the book, that would be terrific. There's the title page. Big Sarah's Little Boots. Sarah loved her boots. 
They were as shiny as a wet slicker and, a yellow, and as yellow as a bathtub duck. When Sarah jumped into puddles, her boots went squish and the water went kerplat. That's the picture, just like on the cover of the book. Isn't that fun to do that in puddles? Do you like to do that too? Looks like she's trying to put on her boots. One day, Sarah tried to put on her boots. She pulled them and she tugged them. She scrunched her toes into tight little balls. She pushed her heels with all her might, but Sarah's boots did not fit Sarah's feet. That's going to be a problem. It's going to make her pretty sad. Looks like she's pulling off her sock. She took off her socks, but even bare, Sarah's feet did not fit into Sarah's boots. Oh no, cried Sarah. My boots have shrunk. Do you think her boots shrunk? What do you think is the reason her feet cannot fit into her boots anymore? Looks like she's trying to pull them and stretch them. I love the illustrations. Sarah tried to make her boots bigger she stretched the bottoms and she stretched the tops. She stretched until she could stretch no more, but nothing happened. She couldn't make them bigger, could she? There's her little brother. Then she called her little brother, Matthew. They, they tied one end of the boots to Matthew's horse and the other end to Sarah's bike. What a smart idea. What do you think they're trying to do? He's going that way. She's going that way. Look at her little face. She's pretty determined. They pulled until the ropes got tight, but nothing happened. I'm trying to stretch it to make it bigger. Sarah gave the boots to the dog. He growled and, and he tugged and she growled and tugged. But nothing happened. What's she doing now? Hmm. Sarah tried to blow them up like a balloon. She took a big breath and puffed her cheeks and blew, but nothing happened. She filled her boots with a truckload of rocks. The boots got heavy. They didn't get bigger. She's got some really smart ideas though, doesn't she? Try to make them bigger. She's trying and trying everything she can think of. Oh my goodness, look at that. She planted them in the garden. She planted her boots in the garden where the sun was warm and bright. She watered them and she waited, but the boots did not grow. Sarah was very sad. Her boots did not fit her feet. Hmm, her feet did not fit her boots. Sarah loved her boots. How is she looking right now? She's looking pretty sad, isn't she? Mom, said Sarah, my boots have shrunk. I wonder, said Sarah's mother, maybe you grew. No, said Sarah, my boots have shrunk. Well, let's see, said mother. Sarah was measured. 
Your boots didn't shrink. You grew all over, said Sarah's mother. You need new boots. I don't want new boots, said Sarah. Look at that, her mother is measuring her and she is getting bigger. So that must mean her foot is getting bigger. Her boots didn't shrink, did they? She's not very happy about that, is she? Looks like they went to the store. How does she look right now? She looks a little angry, doesn't she? Sarah and her mother went to the store anyway. There were lots of boots. Rain boots, rainbow boots, red boots, purple boots, plaid boots, buckled boots, and zippered boots. The salesman showed Sarah yellow boots with a fire engine red stripe around the toes and a fire engine red stripe around the tops. These are lovely, said the salesman. I don't want new boots, said Sarah. They bought the shiny yellow red boots they bought the shiny yellow boots with the fire engine red stripes. How do you think she's feeling about those boots? The next time it rained, Sarah put on her new boots. They weren't as shiny or as yellow as her old boots. When Sarah jumped into the puddles, the water went splash, but that was all. What do you see happening here? After a while, Sarah's mother asked if Matthew could wear the old boots. Matthew looked so excited that Sarah said, all right. When Matthew put on the old boots, he said, these are so shiny. They're as yellow as my bathtub duck. Oh my goodness, he is so happy to get his sister's boots, isn't he? When Matthew jumped into a puddle, the boots went squish and the water went curse splat. I hope they don't shrink, said Matthew. Don't be silly, said Sarah. Boots don't shrink, feet grow. <laughs> Matthew and Sarah went splashing in the puddles. Suddenly, it didn't matter that Sarah's new boots went splash and the old boots went squish. Sarah had grown so big that she could jump over the puddles. And when Sarah jumped, the yellow boots with the red stripes went whoosh. It was a big sound for a big girl. And Sarah was very happy. Don't you love that story? That is a great story. So first graders, it is Friday. And this story was about a little girl. And sometimes there's some things when you're growing up that could be painful, but then there's some pleasures about getting older. I hope you have a super day. Take care, friends.